This morning, a very presidential dish. Alan Allegretti is executive chef and owner of La Promenade des Anglais here in New York and Azure by Allegretti in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And he has cooked for not one, but two presidents. He joins us with his ultimate dish. We are going to be eating cod with basil mashed potatoes and marinated tomatoes. Chef, good morning. And good thank morning, you, good. first of all, for good bringing morning, delicious chef. smelling food. Thank you. This is fantastic. So what do we have? Um, so you're having the cod with the basil mashed potato. You have uh, the famous heirloom tomato. Mm. And you have a crouton with olive tapenade on it. So you grew up in France, and I'm told you actually grew up on a farm close to the south of France. That's correct. Is that part of what, how, what made you a chef? I mean, that exposure to, to food in that form? Well, obviously, yes. You know, since I was always inspired by my grandma who was cooking for the entire family, you know, every day, you know, and finding the time being on the farm and everything. So I was always fascinated about it. Um, maybe too young to know that I would be a chef, but definitely very comfortable, you know, around the table with food for sure. And you were able to bring two presidents to your restaurants, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. How does that work? Do you, do you put the message out to them, you're welcome here anytime? Or do they say, hey, Alan, we just love a reservation with you? No, I, I think, you know, Senator Bill Clinton reminds me of me uh, when I was chef at Le Cirque. Ah. So, and uh, Chelsea Clinton lives also in my neighbor, so in the neighbor of the restaurant. So they surprised me on uh, Bill Clinton's birthday, you know, and uh, after four days that I opened my restaurant, so it was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty special, you know. Some, I'm curious as to what that's like in the kitchen. I mean, how freaked out mm -hmm. are you when you're making the food, or do you just kind of put it out of your head and say it's just like any other dish I make? No, it's obviously cooking for president is always a lot of pressure, you know, and uh, because at the end of the day, is someone normal, you know, eat, um, <laughs> and you're always like, oh my God, is he going to like it? Is not going to like it? But, you know, you're more impressed by the human being alone, you know, than about the food. I think it's, you know, when you're confident about what you do, you know, it's not a problem. It's more like you're scared about the, the, the personage alone. Doesn't hurt to have, have some of these on hand if you get really nervous. For what, sure. What is this, for what sure. is this, this cocktail sure. you, you've created So we for have us. Uh, the vodka uh, lavender infused uh, mm. lemonade. It's nice, it's light. It's refreshing, it's always, you know, matched very well very with good. the type of food, you know. And so. you wore a shirt to match the drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How hard is it to make a meal like this? Because when I look down at my plate, there is a lot of very fancy things going on. Well, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, what you have to think is the balance of the dish, mm -hmm. you know, which is the most important thing, you know. So, the, you know, mashed potato is something very classic. Um, you just want to bring it to a different level. So by adding pesto into it, basil and everything, it completely changed the color and the taste of it. Match very well, you know, with the potato, with the olives, and obviously the cod. So you have a perfect balance and very colorful dish also. So one of the questions we always like to ask folks when they visit is, if you could have an ultimate dish somewhere with anybody in the world, who would that be? Um, for sure, with the people who means a lot for me, you know, some of my closest friend, my family, you know, this is the people that I really want to, you know, to share my ultimate dish. Can you think of what is your most memorable dining experience? Um, yes, uh, you know, definitely the Louis XV in Monte Carlo, you know, and uh, with Alain Ducasse. Not because I work for him, but I think, you know, the simplicity of cooking, but, you know, like very, the precision, you know, and the, of the execution is just phenomenal. Which chefs do you most admire? Um, I admire all of them, you know, Sinda, because they are all different and all talented, I think, Sinda. Um But if I have to pick one, you know, Sinda, it would have been my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yeah. And you grew up cooking with her? Absolutely. What was the number one lesson she taught you? Uh, always make it fresh. You know, keep it simple and fresh. You talk about chefs. Are you surprised uh, by how big chefs have become, especially in the United States? They're kind of rock stars with these famous names now. Well, obviously, you know, when they spend more time on TV than in the kitchen, <laughs> you know, obviously Ooh, it, makes, it, 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 makes, it makes us famous, you know what I mean? Right. And, uh, but I guess, you know, there is a real, you know, desire from the audience to learn a little bit more about what a chef's life is, you know, so uh, we are working a lot, but also, you know, so we are always trying to challenge ourselves to bring something new, you know, to the, um, to the audience. 
And what is this dessert? It's, it's delicious. So you're having the uh, rhubarb and strawberry financier with basil ice cream. Mm. So we are like basil ice cream. Basil season for sure. <laughs> well, we would love for you to sign our dish, Chef for Allegretti, sure. please. And thank you so much for being with us. It was a pleasure.